Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Annie News. I know this isn't the normal intro, but I really wanted to quickly talk about something. So, within the past few weeks or so, uh, both my videos on the Mahoka trailer got striked and removed. So, now my channel is at two strikes and one more will mean that my channel will get suspended. So, I filed for a counter notice and hopefully that will help get rid of the strikes to bring my videos back. But, that will still take at least about two weeks. So for now my videos are going to run on a slightly different format to avoid the copyright issue and I hope you guys don't mind this minor change for the next couple of weeks since it only really affects the trailer section but yeah. Uh, this really sucks but you know it is what it is and I've just got to wait and see what happens. Anyways other than that the uh, new Who Did It Better should be out on Friday or Saturday and uh, one of the shows are going to be One Punch Man so maybe you can guess what the other show is going to be and alright let's just get right into the first preview now. So yesterday we got another full length trailer for the upcoming Fairy Tail Dragon Cry movie. And as we get closer to the release date of May 6th, you can definitely expect the promotion for this movie to go up, so there will definitely be more trailers or visuals over the next few months. Fairy Tail Dragon Cry Lucy, I'm so this next preview is for a show called Magic and Knights. It's an adaptation of a light novel sharing the same name about a mecha otaku that is reincarnated into another world. In this world, there's these giant robots called Silhouette Knights, and since this otaku really loves mechs, he and his friends want to become the pilots of them. So this will begin airing in the upcoming summer season. Next up, we finally got our first full trailer for Suki Gakure. And as I've said before, this is a high school romance anime. However, it seems to be more of a serious nature. Also, the trailer shows how the animation will look, and this is a fairly unique style that I haven't really seen before in any anime. And the character designs look fairly simple, but if you look closer, there's actually a lot of detail put into them. So this is probably going to be a good show, and it begins airing in the spring season. Kiyakari. Daisuki. Alright, now, I tried to search for the Mal on this one, but couldn't find it, so the show is called Onsen Musume, and apparently it's about hot springs that become cute girls, and I think there's an idol group somewhere in there, so yeah. <laughs> And finally, I've got the trailer for Beyblade Burst God. This is being a direct continuation to Beyblade Burst and will air in the upcoming spring season. Now for the announcements. There weren't that many for today, but there was a pretty big one. So, the editor and producer of A Certain Magical Index was on a panel at the Dengeki Game Festival where he was asked about the potential third season of A Magical Index. Now, I'm not going to confirm anything, but the prospect of there being a third season is actually quite hopeful. He stated, This is an unofficial statement, but I am always receiving everyone's passionate opinion on this. The season 3 of the Index anime is plausible, so please wait. So he's basically telling us to wait a little bit longer for more news on the subject. He didn't flat out state that we weren't getting one, he's basically saying that they're giving it thought and there's still the potential for it. So all you Index fans still have some hope to grasp onto for that third season, you just gotta wait a little bit longer. It's not too bad. Next up, an anime adaptation of the manga Dantan Niwarao Gaiden was recently announced. We got two new visuals for the upcoming Suka Suka anime, as well as a new visual for the Kakegurui anime. And finally, Kino's Journey, The Beautiful World will be getting another anime adaptation. So I've heard good things about this, and I think the community was pretty excited to see the return of this classic. Now moving on to the news, first off, Netflix is making more plays in the anime industry because they just secured the rights to air the Godzilla anime movie after its theatrical release in Japan. Now, the directors for this film are the same from the original anime, Knights of Sidonia and Ajin, so it's not surprising that Netflix was able to secure this Toho production since they've had connections with them in the past. Now since my last video got taken down, I'm just going to recycle the news part that I used there. 
So, we've got a new competitor in the anime market now, and they're called DMM.com. Although, I've never personally heard of them, apparently they're pretty well known for its social and browser games. So anyway, they recently announced that starting next month, they will begin to produce original anime, handling as many as 10 series this year. A few of which we've seen previewed on my channel before, like Girls Beat Boys and The Eccentric Family. They also stated that they'd like to be producing about 20 titles annually, so I think it'd be pretty interesting to see if they come out with any hits. And finally, for the featured video of the day, a YouTuber by the name of Landscape of Adjacent Possibility basically made a montage of every single use of English words in anime from 2016, and it's pretty great. It's half an hour long, but it's worth every minute because it's actually pretty funny. So if you got time and want a quick laugh, then uh, watch a little bit of this video. So that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Annie News. Hope you guys didn't mind the new format. I know it's not as professional as my other videos, but I really don't want to get my channel suspended, and it's only until this two strikes are removed, so about two weeks or so. Anyways, as always, thanks for watching, and if you want to see more of this type of anime news content, then you already know what to do. And don't forget, the new Who Did It Better is this weekend. It's going to be One Punch Man versus another show, so let me know what you think it is in the comments. Anyways, until next time, ciao!